Broken Arrow. I'm City Manager Michael Spurgeon, and thanks for joining me for this edition of Broken Arrow in Motion Take 5 segment. Joining me today for this important segment is Street and Stormwater Director Rocky Hinkle. Rocky, how are you? I'm doing well, sir. How are you doing? I'm doing great and I couldn't be happier to be with you. We are right now standing on the new sidewalk out at the project the city's just about completed with out on East New Orleans between 209th and 215th. This was a 2018 bond project and there's a lot to talk about here, but we're gonna try to sum it all up in just a couple of minutes. This is an important project for this part of our community that's seeing a lot of growth. So Rocky, first and foremost, where did the funding come from for this project? So this funding came from the 2018 general obligation bond package voted, voted on by the voters. And so this project, just to give you a little bit of history of this roadway, this road, uh, Broken Arrow, would maintain the north side of the road and Wagner County maintained the south side of the road. But late last year, the Board of Commissioners for Wagner County approved a land swap. And so City Council also approved that land swap as well. So now Broken Arrow maintains the entire stretch of this roadway from 209th to 215th Street. So once this project was, once the land swap was done and this project was designed, uh, we started making the improvements to this roadway. So the, originally this road was a two lane road that uh, had no curb and gutter and had some drainage ditches. But now this road has been widened to three lanes. We uh, installed, constructed a sidewalk on the south side of the road and constructed a 10 foot wide bike path that we're currently on right now, added some curb and gutter and some stormwater improvements. Well, let me point out for everyone that's uh, checking out this segment is that Wagner County is planning on extending the, the road widening further to the east as they finalize their design, finish up the right-of-way acquisition, and then they'll actually put the project out to bid. So, you know, Rocky, I mentioned at the beginning of this segment about the importance of this, this quarter. There's a lot of growth, but also there's so many things happening out here where this road was widened. So talk a little bit about why this is really important. This is important because you can see that we had the state-of-the-art softball facility to the north here at Events Park that's getting all kinds of use. Um, also, Events Park is becoming very popular with events like Scott Fest and other large events that'll be transpiring here. So having this roadway will help alleviate some of that congestion or that traffic that will be experienced in and out of the softball complex as well as the event park itself. So this came from the 28 general obligation, 2018 general obligation bond package. So your department is now responsible for maintaining the road and sidewalk and so forth. So will this be a challenge for you or how will you make sure this road stays in great condition? So we analyze our roads uh, every year. We do a thorough inspection of our roads internally, but uh, every five to seven years, we have a consultant that comes on and analyzes our roads too, to make sure that what we see is the same thing the consultants see in. And as soon as any issues pop up, we are right there to maintain and fix whatever needs to be done. Well, folks, that's just about it for this uh, segment of Broken Air Motion Take 5. I just want to mention is that we always like to talk about progress as promised, and this is a perfect example. The voters approved funding for this project, and then working with our contractor and our street and stormwater division, we were able to complete this project. And I got to close it out by saying thank you to the Wagner County uh, Commissioners, along with the County Engineer for Wagner County, Rachel Cooper, and the, actually the agreement that we reached to where we now own both sides of the road, and then they took over some maintenance on, on a bridge that the city was responsible for. It's just another example of the partnerships that we have in order to try to improve the quality of life for everybody, not only in Broken Arrow, but those great folks in Widener County. So until next time, I want to thank Rocky Hinkle, our street and stormwater director. We want to thank the public for supporting the 2018 bond package. Until next time, have a great rest of your week and look forward to seeing you around town.